Hi, my name is Doris Vitok, and I'm here at the BLC10, or Building Learning Communities uh, 2010 Conference in Boston, Massachusetts. And I am here for Alicia Key's I Am Superwoman, here with Superwoman Raha Parfush. Uh, she was a member of Barack Obama's new media team. And so tell me, what are you working on right now? So I work for the World Economic Forum in Geneva right now, and it's uh, an international nonprofit that's mandate is to improve the state of the world. So what we do is we bring together people from all different walks of life, academics, CEOs, government leaders, uh, subject matter experts. We put them all together in the same room, and we try to, to figure out how they can tackle some of the world's biggest problems. So I work with that, and I'm currently working on uh, my second book, which is called Misfits, How We've Outgrown the Way We Live and What to Do About It which I'm co-authoring with uh, my good friend Leonard Brody. And tell me, what is your ultimate mission in all that you do, publishing books, working with the World Economic Forum? What do you hope to accomplish? I, I think it's just about giving something back, uh, creating something that will positively influence other people. Um, I, I've been very, very fortunate in my life. I've had uh, great teachers, I've had great parents, and I know that there are other people that maybe aren't as lucky, so it's helping them out and helping other people get access to the same opportunities as I did so that they can contribute and be creative and, and productive in society. What would be your message for girls and women around the world who are hoping to accomplish sim uh, similar goals? Uh, it would be the time is now. I think there's no better time for women to be involved in all aspects and in all institutions, technology, government, education, business, and to reach out to other women and support each other and, and build networks of people that can help you achieve your goals. I think don't be afraid to ask questions, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and to just follow, you know, I know it sounds a little cheesy, but it's to follow your heart because ultimately when you do things that make you happy, great things start to happen. And when you go to these conferences and you speak to audiences like this, uh, what is the message that you hope they get out of uh, your speeches? That it, the, all this technology changes, while it's a little bit scary, there's a lot of opportunity and that we shouldn't back away from something just because we don't understand it. We should really dive into it and see how we can use it to connect people and to improve things like education or like our government or political system and as well as our businesses, have businesses that are more accountable, be more environmentally responsible. I mean, technology is making all of these things uh, a much more attainable goal and at least it's putting them as a part of the conversation. So I really want to make sure that uh, that audiences know that they themselves can get can make a big difference just by participating. And I know and I could be wrong but I don't think that every single person thinks in their little you know I want to grow up and I want to think about how technology is changing the world and I want to think about how I can make an impact in that area. How did you fall into doing what you're doing now? Um, well, I've always been a bit of a geek, so I've always loved technology, and for me, it was what I did in my spare time. It was I was on the computer all the time. It was just my love and my passion, so I just followed that. And you know, later on, I didn't really know how I would apply that to a career. But when I was in school, I just loved learning about stuff. So even if you're not, even if you don't, you know, yourself love technology and go into technology, maybe it's medicine, or maybe it's science, or maybe it's education, or maybe it's politics, whatever it is that you're passionate about, channel that and figure out how can I use what I love to do to make the world a bit of a better place. And do you think that your experience working on Barack Obama's new media team, has that given you new insights on people and on the way that people think? What have you learned from that experience? Well, I was a little bit cynical when I first started. I thought, you know, whatever, this is just going to be another politician doing things. And it was actually the team, um, the team members around.